<laughs> Governor Inslee's wife took time out of her schedule. <laughs> We're not going to be stopped. Moms of all caliber and, and are just here, and I'm so proud that she took time out to be here. happen in the legislature. Even though we have wonderful legislators working on this, sometimes common sense things don't happen and you're often the public is ahead of the legislature on things and I think this is an example of that. So I'm here today as a mom and a grandma, uh, as a mom because uh, I have a son who's a hunter, he's a responsible person with a gun and his rights are protected by this type of legislation but as a grandma I want my my grandchildren and their children beyond there and all people to be able to go about their daily lives doing their activities going to school whatever they want to do without the fear that somebody's out there who's purchased a gun through this huge loophole that we have to close i mean it's just crazy to me that to introduce cody arledge cody is working with the washington alliance for gun responsibility and he is going to be doing our advocacy training today so um his his wife is um, ill, I believe, so he has has um, very generously agreed to share his time with us this morning. So thank you. Sure. All right, thanks, Jocelyn. <laughs> yeah, my first tip. So the flu is like ravaging the hill here. So you'll see about every other desk will uh, have um, Purell on it. I highly recommend you use it because. Um, and it's not the 24-hour flu. My wife's been up and down for about a week now, so it is just really wreaking havoc, and it's wreaking havoc through here. So um, I can't tell you how um, appreciative, doesn't quite do it, um, how important it is that you're all here today. There's literally 1,000 uh, registered lobbyists in this state. Um, and legislators see us every 15 minutes. They're 15 minutes appointments, it, and it just gets to where their eyes glaze over, and it's a different lobbyist and a different topic every 15 minutes. The change in that happens when real people show up. Um, they're much more attentive. Um, if you know you're from their district, you're their your legislator. You're a voter. It's much more, um, much more persuasive. They're much more attentive. They care a lot more about what you're going to tell them today than if I'm telling them the same thing. And so I can't thank you enough for being here. Somebody can go into a gun shop and be turned down, have to go through a background check, but go around the corner maybe to a gun show and immediately have a weapon if they're a, a felon or a terrorist or. Um, you know, so thank you for the work that you're doing on this. It's just unfathomable, inexcusable to me that this legislation isn't complete to have background checks for all situations. So don't give up, I, even though it's a very sad, serious issue, and we all know people. Um, yeah, but I think it's a day to celebrate, you know, to be positive and optimistic about this, and don't let other people get you down about this, because you can do this. So thank you.